Hi, welcome to the Conti Surveying Studio. So this video is going to be something about the CCP certification. If you have been following me in LinkedIn, I have recently been certified as a certified cost professional from the AACEI. So this is basically the certificate that you receive once you are done with all the requirements. In this video, I will be showing you just a basic the requirement that is needed to get the CCP certification, the qualification, the exam pattern. Recently, there has been a change. We will go into that also. This is the official website where and you need to log in make a account and then start with your ccp preparation i'll be putting the link to this in the description of this video the main requirement the eligibility requirement is either you need to have a complete eight years of industrial rel related experience or if you're done with your BTEC, your four years engineering, then you need to have that. You need to show that and also a four year industry related experience. So that is the basic requirement. So if you don't have any BTEC education, then an eight year industry experience is required or else a four year experience and your certificate. Basically, they'll be asking you to show the your degree certificate. They'll ask you to upload that and also the, your experience certificates relevant to that four years then there are some canons of ethics it is just that you there will be some terms and conditions which you need to agree to that and just tick that checkbox that you are agreeing to the terms and conditions this is the investment that you need to make for this certification it is 525 dollars for members 690 for non-members and 260 receipt fee members and non-members i'm not really aware of this i had to pay around this much lesser than this when i was taking it they have recently increased the price because of the demand that is coming up for this certification and there are two ways to take the examination one is you can go to a test center there are some certified test centers located all across the globe so you can check whichever is closer to your home and you can go there and take the test another is the online proctored exam system wherein you can take up the exam from your home there are some requirements you should be having good wi-fi connections and your laptop system everything should be having a good requirements that can handle this examinations i went to this test center i selected a test center which was near to my home and did the test my advice would be to go to a test center if you are having some issues in traveling or something then only go for this online examination because you know it's this exam is for five hours and you should make sure that in that five hours your wi-fi is all right the power doesn't go you need to have that five hours pure concentration for this examination like if you're taking it online you should open the camera and you need to like make sure that you are alone in that room there is no like any books or any reference documents near you so all this needs to be maintained and obviously the wi-fi should not go in between if it goes then your exam is gone you have to take it again in a test center they make it sure that there is a 24 into 7 wi-fi connection power connection so you need not worry anything about that and even if something happens it is the problem of that test center so you need not worry anything about that there need not be any extra payment to be done for a re-examination but if it is an online exam that you're taking it is completely your responsibility the wi-fi and all those things so my advice would be to go to a test center you will easily get a test center near to your home so you can go there and take up the exam in this site you will get a lot of study materials that you can go through and understand this is the exam structure there is five hours the format of the exam has recently changed because when i was taking exam there was 120 questions and a technical paper that needs to be written a 2500 words technical paper on any topic related to cost management you should have passed both these things but recently they have changed they have brought in a new requirement like there is a ccp memo this is that new requirement communication comprised of one memo writing assignment with a given scenario and instructions for writing a response in an on-screen textbook so i'm not really aware of how it's going to be but here you have this paper if you click how to write a ccp memo so a detail they have mentioned you can go through it to get a detailed idea on how this is going to be now it is 119 questions and this communication so the time is the same so make sure that you get this completed within this time and in the exam also it is divided into different disciplines cost management 55 questions interfacing with other disciplines 24 questions and performance analysis 40 questions so 70 percentage or higher is needed to pass the exam the final exam is arrived by averaging the score of all four so there are four domains basically and they will check the marks 
of each and take the average so if that average is 70 percentage then only you'll pass it is just making sure that you are fine with all these domains you are having the requisite percentage in the four domains if you get 100 percentage in one domain and very low percentage in another domain and if the average comes to below 70 percentage again you will be failing the exam and for rewriting the exam i think once you have registered you have to take up the exam within six months if i remember yeah six months so this is the candidate handbook here i think they have mentioned about the rewriting of exam this has the complete steps of how to sign in how to upload your documents everything is mentioned in this handbook how you can schedule your exam your registration period is six months you may take your exam up to three times within the registration period two times at a reduced fee of 260 if you do not pass your exam by the third attempt then you must begin a new registration so the first exam will be your that is already included in your initial 690 dollars and then two times at a reduced fee of 260 dollars but then fourth time you need to pay 690 690 dollars again and if you do not take your exam by your expiration date that is six months or if you must take your exam after your date you must begin a new period and pay the full exam please make sure that you are ready within the six months after registering that is very important so everything you can go through this handbook and you will get to know and i would suggest you to purchase this sixth edition skills and knowledge of cost engineering it is around 50 for members 50 dollars and 50 dollars for non-members so this is a very very important study material to pass the examination all the formulas all the theoretical things if you want i can show you how that pdf looks like this is how it looks like the sixth edition book these are the contents of this book all the different chapters very very important all these chapters cost cost estimating planning scheduling progress and cost control project management economic analysis statistics probability and risk lot of mathematical questions would come from this you will have a lot of formulas to learn they even have some worked out examples shown a really good study material you can bring a battery operated calculator so you can have a calculator with you and you should not bring any books or anything they'll be giving you uh, a4 papers to work out for some equations or mathematical questions and and it is valid certification is valid for three years and it should be recertified through accumulation of 12 ceus in at least two categories or then or else you have to do a re-examination more details i have not done much research on that so maybe in another video i can show you or i will have to do a recertification in three years so once i'm done with that i can let you know about it this is the basic video you can go through all this this link as i mentioned i'm putting it in the description everything that you need to know what ccp is available in this just one link so this new structure communication thing the memo writing this has been newly included i think from june this has been included only once people start taking up the exam from their experience only we can know like how this is how do we pass this i am not sure like technical paper it was really challenging 2500 words to tell you frankly i passed the examination in the first attempt but i didn't pass my technical paper in the first attempt they provided some rectifications to be done some changes to be made at some things to be added and then i did it i wrote the paper i made some changes i did some modification and the second time only i could pass the technical papers to get the ccp certification the requirement was to pass the exam and the technical paper so thanks a lot for watching this video if you have any doubts regarding ccp do let me know through any of my social media account take care bye